All right, I think we are live. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's see, where's my save file? There it is. So we're just gonna dive in and play some uh, Planet Crafter today. This is legitimately one of my favorite games of all time. And now that it's out in 1.0, I couldn't not play it or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're just gonna be running around just grabbing stuff for at least a little bit. And my internet was having some issues, but it looks like it's fine. I don't know. Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna hope it holds today. But if I start dropping frames, uh, hopefully you'll understand it or something. It's one of those where I have cheap internet that's just good enough most of the time, but for whatever reason, my upload speed is a tenth of what it normally is, and I'm not sure why. And so it's like, well, uh, it's the bare minimum, so if it, uh, if I can hold the bare minimum, then so be it. Also, thank you, a guy called Samuel, for uh, not only uh, hunting down my streams over here instead, but also becoming a member. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I guess to address that a little bit, uh, I don't stream much anymore, as much anymore, uh, mostly just due to, uh, I had a couple different factors. One was health issues. I had a seat bone issue from having a really bad chair, and so I, I legitimately could not, um, sit in my chair for longer than, like, an hour, uh, like, a, a year ago. It was about a year ago, and so it was one of those where I just, I, I... I just couldn't stream. Uh, you know, I could sit down, record a video, and then go back to resting and, you know, come back and kind of bounce back and forth a couple of times. Uh, but that, you know, didn't mean that... Uh, that meant I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't stream for, like, more than an hour at a time, which just didn't seem like it was worth it. Uh, I'm sure people would have watched anyway. That's, you know, that's what I always hear when this comes up. But it was one of those where it's just easier for me to not have that pressure. So I took a very long hiatus from it and eventually got to the point where I was like, I don't know, I'm kind of fine not streaming often and not having that pressure to do so. Because on Twitch, you have to stream. Uh, you can't just like take too much time off because people just start stop watching you. Uh, and so it was one of those where uh, I just eventually said, you know what, this is bad for me on like a mental and emotional level. So instead, I'm just going to not worry about it and just uh relax and get my health back and then hopefully focus on other projects which is uh what i'm gonna be doing after this today uh, i'm gonna try and i'm gonna try and stream a little bit more on youtube like when it fits my schedule when i have a game that i really want to finish because that's that's part of it is that i think i want to use streams uh these streams uh as kind of like my replacement for the odd let's play that i used to do um but also depends on my schedule and some other things. So, like, uh, last couple of weeks, I was preparing to potentially go on vacation for two weeks um, with my family. We we're going to go uh, visit. I can't pick up that ice for some reason. Weird. Uh, yeah, we we're going to go on vacation, go see my grandma. She's uh, extremely old. And so, you know, it'd be nice to actually uh, see her again before I pat or before she passes. Uh, Let's see, do we want to just leave this here? Yeah, where is it? Oh, it's actually really easy to find this one. Um, but my family came to visit for like three days, and I, by the end of it, I was just so tired that I was just like, you know what? I'm not going on the rest of this vacation. I haven't reserved like a hotel room or anything like that, so I don't need to worry. And just instead focus on my own personal projects a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Accessibility key. So control to rotate faster. God, I love that specific change. There we go. Uh, how <laughs> how much is extremely old? Three digits for? I think she's turning 102. I'm pretty sure she's, yeah, she's turning 102. So uh, extremely old by most metrics. I mean, obviously, like, the world, world's oldest people get up into the 120s. And, like, I don't know. She might get there. I, her health has been fine for the most part. Uh, didn't seem to have a whole lot of issues with COVID. I think four digits would have made the news. That would have been, yeah, we'd be, we'd be talking, like, Emperor of Mankind levels of age. Uh, and I, unfortunately, I do not have that claim, claim to fame. Um, 
but so yeah leading leading up to that trip i was like recording a bunch and like trying to get everything prepped and ready to go and that's like a one-way ticket to extreme burnout for me i love i love my job i love doing it but it is one of those where it's like i have also been doing it for 10 years so whenever i go on vacation i have to double the amount of recording i normally do and i very quickly just hit this kind of mental block where i'm just like i can't do this anymore and i'm going to lose my mind if i try and so it's one of those where it's just like eh, kick back relax work on some other projects work on some other things <laughs> cults would have started i the idea of a cult being based on my grandma is really funny to me are we getting another meteor shower we are i did turn up the rate of meteor showers so expect to see a fair number of them Okay, so we got a blueprint chip. Did I not build a blueprint? Oh, no. Yeah, I never built a blueprint thing here. Weird. Where is it? Blueprint. So one iron, one silicon. We might as well build it while we're here. I just got to find my iron. Uh, da, 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 da. There. So what I should probably do at this point is actually take some of these things back to... Um, okay, so we got... T2 mining speed, T2 agility boots, and compass. So what do I need for this? Fabric. Okay, we do have the T1, but yeah, we gotta go find fabric somewhere. Or make it, but I don't think we can. Also, what oxygen tank do I have? Only have the T... Oh, so I could actually make the T3. So we need iron, titanium, silicon, magnesium, and aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> Get out of my house, boulder. <laughs> um, I guess I might as well snag the resources from out here. Seeing as I literally cannot access part of my base. Uh, This was not something I was expecting would happen, but hey, here we are. It seems like it's mostly just dropping iron and cobalt. I was kind of hoping it would drop some silicon too, seeing as silicon's kind of rare. And aluminum, but I think we're going to need drills for those. <laughs> you can't park here, me. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting to... <sighs> Am I just going to have to wait for this to go away? I think I'm going... Ugh. I'll just make it work. I think we can get the T3 oxygen tank at the very least. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have compass. I don't know. I'm not that desperate for it. And then do I have... I do not have the next tier of exoskeletons. So we need titanium, silicon, two magnesium. There we go. All right. So that should give me another row. Perfect. I... Do we just take what we can get and leave? Because this rock is probably just going to be here for a while. The problem is the stuff that I need is on the other side of it. <laughs> I really was not expecting this. Okay, I can reach some of it. Let's see what else I can get. Yeah, I think that's good. I think this is good enough. Like, sucks a bit, but whatever. Let's grab that super alloy. I'd grab the uranium, but we don't need it right now. And you know what? I'll put the iridium back because we're right next to a giant stinking iridium cave. Grab the fabric, too. I'll come back here later when it doesn't have a rock in it. You should be able to quit to despawn them. Not sure if it works. I... eh. Uh, let's see. So what can we do? I guess... You know what I haven't done? I haven't gone into a whole lot of the ships lately. So that might be a... Uh, the move? But I think what I'm probably going to try and do is get those veggie tubes down. And get those rolling. Oh, did I... Did I forget to loot the rest of that other chest? I probably did. I'll have to go back at some point. But for now, we should get back to the main base and take a look at what we actually have access to and what, what we can do. I'd like to get up to the point where I can make fabric. I, I think you can make fabric. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, like, just find it somewhere. The other thing we should probably do is, like, rip up some of these old uh, solar panels and whatnot and build the big bigger and better ones. Universe forced him to get a pet rock. <laughs> there was a, um, 
was it when I was living in North Carolina or Massachusetts? I don't remember. Uh, there was a like mudslide rock slide and a boulder came rolling down the mountain and hit somebody's house to the point where it was like perfectly placed in the middle of their kitchen. Almost no damage to the kitchen apart from the one wall. And, uh, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't give myself enough space or storage in this place. It's okay. We can, we can start getting some of the big lockers down. Uh, but I remember people memeing about there being this big boulder on this, this poor person's kitchen, uh, and how, you know, it's their new roommate or some, some such stuff like that. There we go. Uh, see if I can get some more of these. Because ideally what we want to do is replace most of these. Not all of them, because I'm not going to be able to replace, 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 replace those. But I can kind of get the rest. Okay, so what do we, what do we need to make a Vegetube T3? Water bottle. Ooh. I mean... I'm sure we can find some water. I'll pull some things out of these. Eventually, I'll probably organize this later. Okay, so we have a couple. Because silicon was one of the other requirements. I'll figure out the rest. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Magnesium and iron. Might as well make a bunch of these. Fortunately, I kind of have spent most of my iron. But that's okay. So do the veggie tubes have to be inside or outside? They're outside now. All right. So what I should probably also do at some point. Eh, it's fine. Let's, let's just pull everything out of this. Because there's not really much of a reason to keep a low tier veggie tube around when you can go up to the higher tier. I do kind of wish the veggie tubes were still inside, though. It was nice. So much as that. That's a lot of oxygen. Okay, so that gets me the magnesium and ice that I need. And iron. So I think we can replace much of this setup. And also wreck our power, because I guess we don't have enough. Came here and chat went completely silent. I'm not that unfunny. I think YouTube streams are always going to be a little quieter than a Twitch stream is. I think that's just going to be normal. Fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. I, I wouldn't call it uh, fortunately. I like, I like having a quiet chat. It means there's less immediate pressure on me. Okay, can we make... Yeah, we can make more of these. Uh, but I think a lot of people treat YouTube streams especially as just a video. Uh, because, you know, you're normally not doing live chat when you're watching a uh, watching a YouTube video. I'll have to get some, like, platforms down at some point so I can maybe... Um, let's see. Good, they do give me silicon. Uh, get some platforms down so I can maybe get these on a grid. But that's expensive and I think we're gonna want drills for that. Let's see, any silicon nearby? No, but we do have these stupid drills that aren't doing anything for me. Did I drop these? Either that or they're blowing around from a, a random meteor shower. Also possible. Ah, there we go. Okay, so what do I need for veggie tubes? Silicon? Yeah. Well, these are, you know what? Bad drills anyway. Of course, I need my aluminum. Okay, let's go back, grab a couple other things. Do you remember a hard space shipwrecker stream where there's a lot of talking back and forth? I think that was back when I was still doing Twitch, though. Probably. I didn't mean to grab that super alloy. 
Actually, I was scared off the first time I checked out a YouTube stream because the chat was way faster than Twitch. Huh. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just engender a much quieter uh, overall audience. Okay, might as well grab all of that. I could put down another drill, but I should really look at my power setup before I do too much. I could probably fit one more drill. There we go. Was YouTube? Did I stream Hard Space? I have no idea. I'll have to. I'll have to look in, into it. I haven't played uh, Hard Space. Hard Space in a while. I'd actually like to go back and finish it someday. Someday. Okay. Uh, let's see. So how are we doing power wise? Because I think we're. Oh no, our production is great. Our consumption is not a problem at all. How did we run out? Oh. Uh, well, we can get rid of these veggie tubes. That might let me get one more down. So we need the water bottle and aluminum. And whatever the best seed is. That one. We'll grab the other one, too. See if I get lucky. Oh, I can't. It would help if I didn't just immediately deposit everything. There we go. Let's give this another shot. Morning streams are also a lot quieter. That's yeah, true. I interestingly enough, my my YouTube manager, uh, because I do actually have kind of a manager person who was like, Yeah, you should stream early, because that's when your audience watches you. And it's like, alright. I personally am more of an evening stream kind of person, but I'm also in a situation where I have well, I'm in an apartment and I don't want to upset my neighbors by streaming late into the night like I used to. And also, to some degree, that's a good time for me to spend time with Shell playing board games and whatnot. There we go. Okay, that's a bunch of oxygen. I think I'll come back here and reorganize these later, make them nice and seamless. Or we could actually do it right now. Is that another meteor shower? I think it is. There. I know, it's just kind of neat to link the legs together. It almost looks like it's intentional. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Boy, it got yellow. Oh no, this is just a sandstorm. All right. Yeah, that is the other thing. Uh, morning streams, LOL. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not necessarily morning for a lot of people. That, let's see, food grower. Aluminum, iron, water bottle. Let's grab those two. I think I want to just get two of these. I don't think we need more than that. Uh, da, 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 da. Food grower. Food grower one. Food grower two. I'll just put it there. Perfect. Guess we're eating squash and eggplant. Okay, next order of business. Inventory is full. I think what I'm going to need is two iron, titanium, three iron, two titanium, and one silicon. We're just going to go raid some um, some ships, I think. But, you know, this way, it's not so early that somebody watching in Europe... Uh, or, it's not so early that... It's, Europeans are in bed. It's not so early that, uh, or it's not so late that Europeans are in bed. It's not so early that West Coasters are still asleep. The only people who don't really get to appreciate my streams at this hour would be, um, Australians. And I, I don't know. There's only so much I can do about that. Wow, there's so many resources. I wish I had like a rover with a Hoover mechanic. Just slurp up every resource it drives over. If that's a thing in this game, please tell me, because I want one. Okay, what was that? Oh, advanced crafting station. Sick. Let's go up to the T3 heaters. I don't think I'm going to rush for that. But we might build, like, a heater base. Soonish. Soonish. 
as you pump more oxygen into the world, does your O2 meter uh, deplete slower? I don't... Uh, yes and no. I think the answer is mostly no, but you get a re... Uh, you get a rebreather later that specifically uh, drastically reduces your oxygen drain. Inventory is full. Biscuits. There's a lot of goodies here. But yeah, Martian Roomba, just send it into that crater and check it a day later. I, I'd i actually really appreciate it. Like, eventually we get mining drills that just grab resources automatically. Uh, or generate resources automatically. But I want, I want like a full-on, uh, yeah, Roomba that just goes around and grabs this stuff for me. Little drones? Wait, there are drones. Drones are a thing in this game. I remember it was one of the options that I could start with. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to really build anything here. I think this is just going to be a how much stuff can we jam into or how much stuff can we store? Let's grab a little bit more iron so I have another storage capacity, uh, another thing for storage. Other thing is, how long is this going to take to melt? It starts melting at 100 NK. I have no idea where we're at in the process, but I'm assuming we're not there yet. Uh, let's see. What's that other one? This game feels both old and new at the same time. I think its visuals look very early 2010s. I mean, it's made by a husband-wife pair, if I remember correctly. Like, this is, this is very much a game made by two people. And I don't want to say, and it shows, because I feel like that's kind of dismissive. But it doesn't have the same level of, like, visual polish that, like, obviously a more modern AAA game would have. I don't think it bugs me, though. It does exactly what it needs to. And also the ships and, like, the, the building pieces look really nice. Okay, good. We can get a couple of these. We should probably also get one crafter uh, just so I can make food and water. Or, well, mostly water. But for me, I'm kind of undiscerning when it comes to like games and visual quality. As long as it's a, as long as it's a got a cool style and B, uh, executes that style. I don't want to say like flawlessly. Uh, a game can look kind of old and crunchy. Easy example would be like Cultic. That is a game that looks like it came out in the '90s, but it looks amazing regardless just because of how well that style was executed on. Same thing with Dusk. There was Dusk HD that came out, and I actually think Dusk HD looks worse than regular Dusk, but I recognize why people would prefer one over the other. Oh, it's six people now, but it did start as a husband-wife duo. Neat. Okay. Yeah, so we need T2 de deconstruction chips. Oh, okay, so you can deconstruct all of those individually. Interesting. Alright, I'll have to come back. It looks like we still have a couple of paths to take through this thing. Do wish they had changed the harvesting animation so it wasn't just like a beam hoovering up stuff. I kind of like it, actually. But maybe that's, it's basic, but it's fine. It's fine. Aesthetic is similar to Tower of Guns crossed with a downgraded Subnautica. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. I guess the easier way to put it is this game has very good art direction, even if it is using probably some amount of bot assets and is kind of limited in a number of ways. It looks very cohesive and functions quite well. It's got a good vibe, and there's a there's a very nice a nice feeling of um, <coughs> progression over the course of this game as the planet gets uh, as the skies get bluer and the planet gets greener. It just feels good looking at that, and they did a really good job with it. 
And why did they make a Dusk HD? The whole charm was that it looked old school. I think it still looks old school. It's just slightly less. I, I'm not sure. I cannot speak to this. And like, if that's what the developers want to do, and you know, if people actually do appreciate it, then power to them. I'm not going to question it too much. It's just mostly a, I don't, I don't see why they did. There we go. I need some water. It blows my mind how you can navigate these ships. I'm a professional in getting lost in Minecraft caves and find my way back perfectly due to, due to YouTube. I can't see anything outside the flashlight. Oh, it's it's pitch black. Uh, everything in the periphery. I have a really good sense of direction most of the time. Um, as silly as it might sound, I think it's because of laser tag. I used to play a lot of laser tag, which was... Ooh, nuclear reactor. And this needs a fuel rod, I think, which, yeah, I don't have. Cargo ship Sorella 4, machinery log number 436. This morning on our 17th day of space travel to Stigmar, the ship, became, ship inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity. The navigation tools went crazy and the ship lost power as if it had been drained by some exterior thing. We're going to try and make an emergency landing on this un unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find. There seems to be a huge storm on the surface of the planet. I hope we make it. I do kind of wish this game had, like, huge storms that would come through. Maybe they do. Um, but I, I saw a lot of people were kind of negative about this game. Because it doesn't have much tension. And, okay. Is it not? Oh, yeah, it is here. Uh, d -d 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 can I? No. Grass spreader. We're already up to the grass spreader. We're making good time. I, I do have the, uh, the doubler on. Let's quaff and just destroy this. I think there's probably a secret door somewhere that I can also find, but later. So we got one more. But yeah, so I played a lot of laser tag as a kid, and as part of it, you're you're kind of rushing around to this extremely limited environment um, rather quickly, and you have to kind of know what you're what you're doing um, and where you're going. And I wouldn't just go to the same place over and over again, so the layout would change. And so I think as part of that, I got kind of, kind of good at navigating unfamiliar spaces very fast. Technical debris? Oh, is this. And also probably just playing like an amount of video games that didn't have maps back in the day. I feel like while art style is important, or while art style is important in the game, in games, there's so many different ways to make games look good without having it be as realistic as possible. I would say that is art style. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we don't need a Lerma seed right now. What else do we have? Uh, making a game look good without looking realistic oftentimes is due heavily to style more than anything else. Okay, let's put the food away, the iron, the water bottle. We don't need that. I'm mostly trying to grab everything I can. Hmm. I mean, I guess we grab the Lerma seeds. And one Iridium? Sure. Bring this back. Uh, what's a good example? Well, I mean, to go back to Cultic, that is a game that has a really good art style. It is not realistic, but I adore how it looks. Uh, another one also kind of recently very much hit that, like sweet spot of 90s flair uh, was like El Paso Elsewhere or Minecraft. Minecraft is all just like grubby voxels, but it looks fantastic, especially with how they generated a lot of the um, the set pieces. Like there is something truly majestic about walking through some of the more extreme terrain in Minecraft. And then, yeah, you can throw a shader on it and it looks even better, kind of. Cooks your game, though. Okay. I do really like that you can actually see an amount of the set pieces in this. You can see that ring over there. And then there's the big crash ship over that direction, which I should probably go to. I'm just trying to grab as much as I possibly can. But yeah, uh, prior to 
YouTube, I was an artist and I was like trying to get really good at digital painting and making, I'm not going to say realistic environments, but highly detailed environments. And now that I do this instead, whenever I, I sit down to do art, I'm just like, you know what? Uh, I don't, I don't need to bother with realism or any of that fancy stuff. I'm just going to, um, you know, do, do these kind of quick cartoony things instead. What did I need the fabric? Oh, I need the fabric for these. Oop. Well, that's convenient. So what else can I make? Because it wasn't backpack. I think we're good on that one. Team Fortress 2. Very low poly models and low resolu resolution textures. And everyone loves the graphics. I am... I know why... Valve doesn't make more games than they do. It's mostly just that they have no no selection pressure forcing to them forcing them to do so, but it sucks because like a TF3 would be amazing. Just to get people back and playing again. Mining speed, recycling machine, and corner. I see realism every day. I don't need more. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the right way to think about it. We have the launch platform. We are just cruising here. Ore extractor at 150. That's pressure. So we're kind of low on heat. I guess I should look into getting the nuclear reactor. I guess I should look into getting the advanced crafting station. Aluminum, titanium, magnesium, and silicon. Except for I think we're completely out of silicon. Yep. All right. Let's go find some. And there should be a whole bunch in the very beginning area. That yeah, Portal 3 would be a dream come true. I, At the very least, I wish Valve would just use their infinite money to hire developers to just make the games that they're not going to. Or something. Yeah, Breath of the Wild also had very low resolution looked really good. I thought it was maybe a little bit too... It felt a little overexposed to me, but that's also just my preference. But I think Tears of the Kingdom did a better job than Breath of the Wild on the same visual style, and I'm not quite sure why. I'd have to look at it in greater details. I think part of it is I really liked the underground in Tears of the Kingdom. That, that massively improved the game for me. I was ho-hum on the Sky Islands because you couldn't do too much between them. It was mostly just, like, awkwardly fly between some of them. Guess let's grab some iron while we're here. But yeah, there's there's a bunch of silicon out. I think also, I might be operating under... Uh, coming from a position of bias, I really liked the idea... Or I really liked Twilight Princess. And I wanted... I want my Zelda games to be somewhat, like, cool fantasy. And Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom felt a little bit cooked. Uh, and so I, I think I never got over that slightly worse first impression, even though it actually looks perfectly fine. What gets my goat is when a game has um, cartoony characters but realistic environments. That always feels really weird to me. What blows my mind, though... Uh, speaking of, like, visual style and aesthetic and graphics, is that, like, Xenoblade 3 exists at all on the Switch? I haven't really ever talked about this, but that game looks better than a lot of AAA games on other platforms. I could actually even say that, uh, like, Xenoblade 3 looks better than, I don't know, Horizon Forbidden West. Like, Forbidden West looks fine, but, uh, it just looks okay i don't know how to describe it i think it is once again because it's too realistic and so it loses a lot of that immediate charm okay so right i needed silicon titanium aluminum and magnesium do i not have any titanium no i do okay please tell me i have enough yes oh god this is a chunker we should probably rip all of this up. I'll just put it here for the time being. Okay, so what can I make? Uranium rod, T4 oxygen tank, T4 backpack. We can't make any of these. I need to find super alloy. I think I know where to get it, though. 
So you have three, uh, oh, we know we can just make super alloy out of this stuff. I don't want to, though. That's really expensive. Sea of Thieves, Thieves has a cartoonish graphics, but it looks awesome. I've never played it. I really should someday. Okay, we could also make the iridium rods. Yeah, maybe we do that. Because I know they added the uh, single player mode to Sea of Thieves, or single player, the uh, PvE-ish mode to Sea of Thieves recently. And that was kind of my main resistance for not wanting to play more of it. Let's make our veggie tubes first, seeing as we're here. Uh, so we just need water bottles, magnesium, and aluminum. Okay, can I make them? Yes. Let's make as many water bottles as we can. Not using that ice anyway. There we go. Am I going to end up with another pet rock here? They do seem to like hitting my ceiling. I think the other thing is I've been... Uh, I don't want to say a little anti-Microsoft lately. Eh, no, I definitely have. Microsoft, Microsoft has gotten worse. Which is impressive, considering, you know, Microsoft has always been kind of eh. Damn it! <laughs> At least I can reach most of my base. Okay, so we can get one more of these down. Now let's make it a 3x3 three three instead of a line. Shunga seed. Alright, there we go. That should be a hecton of oxygen. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hey, the debris is gone immediately. That's nice. Let's just put these away. Let's go get... You know, I'm going to bring that with me and... Or eat it, I suppose. Eat that as well. There we go. Name the small one, Edward. Unfortunately, Edward has already passed on. Let's go get a bunch of iridium and make some heaters, I think. And then I'll go figure out the process of making um, some nuclear generators, because I'm going to need to do that, too. <laughs> Edward, no. <laughs> oh, right. Do I need to make a ramp here? I might. Oh. I didn't realize there was aluminum in this cave. That actually would have kind of helped me. No, I think we I think we're good. I don't think we need ramps or staircases too much. But yeah, after the uh the Microsoft layoffs uh of like a lot of Blizzard employees at the beginning of the year, it was kind of just like, eh, you know what? I'll avoid doing a whole lot of uh Microsoft products for a while. They don't make it hard uh, to avoid them, which has been kind of nice. Yeah, except for the fact that they're on computers. I'm, uh, there was, oh, there's just a ramp there. I saw the thing recently where it was like, yeah, there's a subscription cost if you want to, like, keep getting Windows 10 updates after, like, 2025. And I'm just like, I think that's probably fine. I don't think most basic users really need to worry about that. Probably. Um... But on the flip side, it, it does kind of make me wonder, like, after a certain point, am I going to have to figure out uh, a different operating system other than Windows to keep doing my job without having to be nickel and dimes just for the op operating system? It's already annoying enough as it is that it's trying to, like, foist AI on me. Uh, let's see. So I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping with the... Windows getting greedier and um, with Windows getting greedier and uh, the existence of the Steam Deck, game developers are going to start supporting Linux a little bit more. Not that I'm much of a Linux guy per se, but I think it would be really cool if I could actually use other operating systems other than Windows. Because on a personal level, I 
really like Ubuntu and some other Linux systems. Like, they just look and feel better to me. Hey, thank you, Xanderkin, for, uh, I guess the sub. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I get to catch a wander stream. Love the work. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and stream some more of these. Oh, hey, there's my pet rocks. They got smaller. Uh, let's see. Let's start by doing this. Can I make some iridium rods? Because we're gonna we're gonna want them anyway. I want to make those big heaters if I can. Yeah, streaming on Linux seems like a lot of work. Yeah, it's. I'd still say it's probably like another uh, another ten years out, but maybe we'll get it. I I hope we do. Okay, silicon, titanium, and aluminum. Unfortunately, I think I had... Oh, no. Of course we have sil plenty of silicon. Is it just these? I think so. Though I bet this is a massive honker. Oh, yeah. That... Oh, this has to be indoors? Christ. Yep. Cannot deconstruct... Oh, I see. Err... Let's just put these away for a hot second. Pick the uh, pick this stuff up. There we go. Rip my power immediately. I was hoping deconstructing the previous ones would be enough, but I suppose not. Okay, so what? It, we don't have. We don't have enough for that. Okay, iron, magnesium, silicon, cobalt. I kind of wish I could pin a recipe. And I'm pretty sure I have like no cobalt in here. Is it just those? Cobalt, cobalt and magnesium. I think we're out of. Okay. The proton has advanced quite a bit thanks to Valve and the Steam Deck. Yeah. It, if it can get just a little bit beefier. Uh, and a little bit more support. I might consider it, though I think uh, OBS might not function on Linux that well yet. I, I don't know. I'd have to do research. Unfortunately, it's just something I'm going to have to probably just deal with it for a while. It's kind of like a uh, Photoshop. I, as like a, uh, oh, there is a brief window where you can see this thing. It is currently clipped into a hitbox. I know, no, I'm not going to be able to get it. It's fine. Uh, let's just grab the rest of these. Uh, but yeah, I'm not big on a lot of Adobe products. I, I've always thought Adobe is kind of like an overly greedy company, and I didn't really want to support them too much. But as like an art student and artist. I kind of didn't have a choice. There weren't really a whole lot of good competitors, you know, 10 years ago. And so it was like Corel and like Paint Tool Sci, which I I think is now Clip Studio Paint. No, it's Manga Studio. Yeah. Or Manga Studio became Clip Studio. So P Paint Tool Sci might be something. I don't know. Um. There we go. That's a bit better. But yeah, Adobe is one of the worst companies out there. Blech. Yeah, exactly. And unfortunately, because they were kind of top dog and pretty exclusively top dog, I had to pay that subscription fee for a good 15 years. Because yeah, I needed them for Premiere. I needed them for Illustrator. I needed them for Photoshop. Uh, I used some of their other products and it, it didn't feel good, but it's like, this is what I'm stuck. Oh, there's blueprint print pinning. Nice. Um, oh, Psy is still good? All right. I'll have to give it an ogle at some point. Uh, but yeah, I felt like I was kind of trapped using, using these tools that I didn't really want to use, but I had kind of no choice in the matter just because... <laughs> Shell's just backseating me, uh, on what I'm, I'm saying here, but, um... Yeah, I was kind of trapped into using them and paying for this subscription fee because I, the eternal moron, didn't buy CS6. 
And so uh, I don't have like a, a recent-ish version. I think I had CS4 uh, and Shell had CS5 for the Mac. And like they kind of still work, but it's one of those where it's just like, oh, shoot. Felt like my oxygen ran out much faster this time around. Also, I'm hosed. Yeah, it does not help that CS5 doesn't work on modern Macs, for example, but eh, we are going to pass out like five feet from my door, probably. At least I run faster. I can see my home. Hold your breath, you fool. That's fine. I'm back. Uh, let's see. So what are we doing? Probably just a couple more of these. The affinity is really good. They just sold out to a... a, uh, a Canva, which I don't like. So, like, I like Affinity, and I'm glad I was able to, like, do a buy-in, but whenever one of these companies gets sold out to, like, a competitor or a uh, like a bigger company, I'm always like, alright, when's the shoe gonna drop? When when do they get garbage? Because it usually comes afterwards. But I wish uh, Adobe every once in a while would just sell, like, a hey, here's just, like, our uh, our previous product packaged as like a single buy-in because I don't need all of their new features. I just need like Illustrator CS6, but whoops. I might actually be able to like go back and find and buy that kind of thing. Okay, let's just get rid of a couple more of these. I'll probably get rid of these solar panels sooner than later. Yeah, I didn't hear about the buyout. It was like days ago, so I can't really blame people for not hearing about it. It was mostly just that some artists I know were upset because it's just like, and I just bought Affinity. And they've already, uh, and they just sold out and can't, you know. Buyouts almost always don't result in a betterment of the product. Okay, right. I don't have any cobalt on, on here. I think I'll just live. How are we doing power wise? We've got a hundred, so actually we're above and beyond. The food growers? Really? I was not expecting food growers to be as power demanding as they are, but I guess, I guess so. All right, so where are we at? So heat, we're crawling up there, but it's gonna take a while. Pressure, we're close, actually. The ore extractor is gonna be huge. And then we're a very long way. From getting the T2 nuclear reactors, so that's going to take some time. Oh, but it looks like we might actually start getting water soon. Including the atmospheric water collector, which is actually going to be huge for me. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess what we do, let's just get some, oh, we do actually have cobalt. Uh, let's see, what do I need? Silicon and aluminum. I don't know how many more of these I want to make. I'll make like one or two more solar panels. And then let's let's go grab some um let's go grab some uranium, I think. Oh, didn't grab enough silicon. You know what? I think that's fine. Does this game try to be scientifically accurate? I don't think so, no. I think it's pretty it's a pretty far cry from scientifically accurate. But I kind of wouldn't expect it to be. Okay, do we want to grab Nah, we'll get it on the way. Let's go this direction. Let's get into that ship. And see what we can get in it. Because I sh I should be making little feeder bases all over the place anyway that I can bounce back and forth between. I might also want to put like a, a small base inside there just to be able to get the rest of the iridium. I don't think we need magnesium, we need silicon. I'm sure we'll find some between here and the back of that spaceship. Honestly though, I, 
I don't know. I find scientifically accurate games to be slightly frustrating. I understand, like, why people like them. But as a kid, I had Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't even remember which one it was. It was, like, the 2000 version or something like that. It wasn't one of the, like, particularly high-end ones, but I had a flight simulator. And I couldn't... I could not take off particularly well, and I definitely could not land ever. And so usually I'd, I'd load the saves that just start you in the air and I'd fly around. I could master that much, but anything beyond that was kind of too much for me. Uh, and so I just never bothered with flight sticks or any of that jazz because it just didn't seem like it was particularly good. Uh, or I was never going to enjoy it at the very least. And then... um. What did I get? I think it was Star Wars Battlefront 2, the one that had the, like, uh, big uh, space battles. And I remember specifically playing around with a flight stick on it, because I think it worked. So you could pilot, like, a Y-Wing or an X-Wing with a flight stick. And I thought that was the coolest shit ever. And then I tried to go back and do some, like, piloting in, um, in like, a flight sim. And quickly realize that, no, it's just that realism and me don't jive. We are not friends. I wish you could actually recycle more of these ships. I understand why you can't, but there's all these chairs that... you think you'd be able to get some hella iron out of that. I'm like, no knock on somebody that actually does like realism in games. Like, power to you if you like that kind of thing. Okay. There's something on the other side of that door. I'm assuming we have to power this thing before we can actually get through it. Is that something? Well, it's a Nulna seed. Oh, it's just a bunch of seeds sitting there. Sick. There we go. I don't think we need Lermas, but you never know. Seems like it was kind of a farming ship more than anything else. Okay, I know there's a ladder that I've just disregarded. Rocket engine. Well, that's nice. Right, we do have a launching platform. I am... Yeah, I'm just going to have to come back. I'm actually slightly overwhelmed at how fast we're progressing. I know I it's because I have the game on times too, but it's one of those where it's just like, oh man, I could be doing all these other things. And I'm still just ripping bits out of these old ships. Oops. Planet Crafter Shipbreaker? Absolutely. Like, again, it's a small team. I wouldn't expect uh, that level of like nitty gritty destruction or building, but like, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool. Uh, my friends and I are going to be playing Seven Days to Die starting on uh, Sunday. And I'm very much looking forward to that because that's one of those games that everything is destructible. And, you know, I'm not actually going to be able to do too, too much destruction, but I am going to try and make a character whose sole purpose in life is to destroy buildings. But the... It's... I like it how they have these computer banks that have fallen out of the shelves, but they still put the shelves there. What is this? Oh no, it's just disappeared. Also, we already have the ore extractor. Cripes. Okay, was there anything else up here? No. Because I think that's just to get me up so I can see the, um, where the generator is. Speaking of scientific accuracy, uh, I guess the easiest way I would describe it is like kind of the differences between The Expanse and Star Wars. The Expanse, they specifically like have physics as kind of a core component of the, the world and universe. And I know like, yes, physics exists in the Star Wars universe too. Um, but one of my favorite 
favorite scenes, one of the more interesting scenes in the game, or game, in The Expanse, is a scene where a, a guy slingshots himself around, was it the sun or it was like Uranus or something, and flies into this, this like fancy gate uh, that uh, an alien thing had created. And as soon as he goes through it, physics like changes. Uh, he loses all momentum, or at least his ship does. And he then proceeds to pancake hard against the, um, or in his own harness. Like, he literally liquefies in that moment. And it's horrifying, frankly. Uh, and the, the television show did a really good job of portraying how this would look and why it's extremely, extremely bad to, like, attempt this sort of thing uh, in these circumstances. Obviously, like... Being able to just turn physics off is some serious science magic, or at least, like, arrest a thing, uh, a ship's movement at the point where physics is effectively paused temporarily. And so, like, I thought that was really cool, but I do not like sci-fi uh, series and settings where that's, like, a common thing, uh, or those kinds of limitations are the norm, because I find it often holds back the actual, like, sci-fi-ishness of it. So Star Wars, for example, yeah, they've got physics, but it takes a back seat and doesn't uh, doesn't like get in the way of the rule of cool for the most part. And so it's part of the reason why I think I think I'm always just kind of like I live in reality. I don't need games to be realistic. But I do right. I do respect people that want that kind of thing. Uh, specifically, I'm assuming uh, to some degree the. Uh, the desire for like Kerbal levels of of physics simulation and whatnot. You're gonna be organizing your inventories today. You mean in here? <laughs> I leave this stuff until I need it, and then I'll come back for it. Once we get the uh, once we get the teleporters, I think it'll be a little easier. <laughs> And I'd say we're kind of getting there. Let's see, where's the ladder? There it is. I, I went through all of these, right? Unless there's something hiding somewhere, I think we've kind of cleared this out. But I want to say there's something on the front side of this ship. The Star Trek hand waves physics by way of techno babble. And I think it works, you know? I... I think I would be frustrated in Star Trek, as long as it's somewhat sensible. I don't think I mind if they're hand-waving a lot of physics. We have no water. Do we have any ice? No, we have no ice. What do I need for a craft tube? Iron silicon. I'm gonna make a quick craft tube here. Well, let's go find some ice, so I don't specifically get too thirsty. There it is. Uh, da, 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 da. There's my little cube. Make a water bottle. What's the other one? Oh, it's an oxygen capsule. Eh. Game is a poor man's no man's sky. That's a kind of bad read on what this game is and what it tries to be. Because, I'll be honest, No Man's Sky is kind of boring. And maybe I just need to go back and play it again. But No Man's Sky is, is big and it is empty and there's not much to do in it. This is big. Full of, well, it's big, but it's not that big. It's full of stuff. Admittedly, a lot of the stuff is just like little mining bits that you want to pick up because it's useful. But it's still kind of something to do as opposed to just, like, wandering around scanning animals. But also they do completely different things. It's like, uh, oh, what's a good example? What is a good example? What are, like, two very apples and oranges things set in kind of the same? It's like uh, trying to compare Dead Space to Mass Effect. 
like sure they're both sci-fi games and sure you'd spend amounts of time an amount of time going through alien worlds but that's about as far as the similarities go after that it's it's kind of a dishonest read of what either game is so what do we want to do leave that there and continue on yeah let's go put up a little micro base near those pillars But also, I, I'm not going to let go of this for at least a little bit more. Really weird energy nowadays to like walk up to a game knowing almost nothing about it and to just uh, insult it with a like, oh, this is just a bad version of this other game. Because at best, you're going to look petty. At worst, you look hilariously misinformed. Oh, it's raining. Oh, shit. We got blue skies. I didn't even notice. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Yeah, this is just uh, sci-fi cookie clicker. Absolutely. Like, not even exaggerating. That is absolutely what this game is. Uh, it is it is an incremental game. There is some amount of sandbox survival. There is some amount of uh, science fiction, whatnot. There's some amount of base building. But for the most part, it is an incremental game. It is cookie clicker, but you actually do shit as opposed to just click. And it feels really good. Okay. Oh. Have I... There's an upper area here? I don't think I knew that. Unless there isn't. No? Huh. Alright. I'll take this. Now, this is the super alloy cave, which we're going to need anyway. Because I think we can... Oh, we can make the drills now. Yeah, so we want to go set up an ore miner in here. But first, I'm going to get every bit of super alloy I possibly can. Oh, you know what? I should probably deconstruct that. Well, like, I know why people enjoy games like, like Cookie Clicker and whatnot. But I was playing, um... I was playing the demo with... Uh, or I was playing the demo for Magic Research 2 earlier. That's a very fun, like, little incremental game, and I enjoy it a fair bit. But there was definitely a feeling of, like, I am just sitting here and waiting for meters to fill up. Uh, whereas this, I have something to do. I am going places. I left my water in the... Uh, back in my little base. I should go back for that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. What do I need for a staircase? Iron. Blessed be. I think this is the entrance. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do this exactly. Nope, this was not it. I am locked in here. It's probably here then? Probably here I didn't leave a marker. Which is a problem. Okay, that should be good enough. Nope. Where the hell was it? It was one of these gaps up here. Oh, I see blue skies. Never mind. I think I went the wrong direction. Oh, good. I'm not locked in there. Now I'm thinking about incremental games crossed with odd genres like Monster Collection. There was one incremental Monster Collection game that I... Where did I put my water? I have no idea. I think we have to make another crafting tube. At least we got some... Oh, we never made the water. We just went out to grab some ice. I don't know, whatever. Problem solved. Okay. So let's let's get a little bit more storage down, and then let's figure out an ore drill. Yeah, that door is in the back of the cave. I think I'm going to go in the front this time around, and oh, never mind. I don't even know where to get osmium. I think there's a source close by. 
Is there? Yeah, evolve incremental. Was that was that the one? No, evolve evolve is kind of interesting, but that's not the one I was thinking about. There was one that you would like specifically buy creature like use creatures to gain resources that you would trade for other creatures. And it was like a very slow full incremental. My main thing is I want my incremental games to be like this where you're actually doing something. So Evolve wasn't bad. I enjoyed it an amount, but my main thing is I want to avoid games like Antimatter Galaxies. Uh, as much as that game has a lot of cool potential, you have to spend hours before you get to anything interesting. And even then, a lot of it is just still waiting and watching and waiting and watching endlessly. And some amount of that just drives me up the walls. So here's the door. Okay, we're good. Osmium is in the Sandfalls on top of the lake area. I forget where the lake is, but I know where the Sandfalls are and we'll head up that direction momentarily. Also, the music's kicked in. There was no music previously in this. It's It's gotta be because um, things are starting to turn blue. Because like the first hour of this game is just kind of dreary with no music. Hope the dev for Orb of Creation keeps going. I hope so too. Orb of Creation is a really neat game. I thought this was a cave that actually had like a, a pass through. It would lead you somewhere. I suppose not. All right, whatever. Ah, cave by the big wreck. Got it. Idle monsters. Maybe I no. I don't think it was idle monsters. I could go back and look at it. But yeah, I do hope Orb of Creation keeps keeps developing. I haven't seen an update go by on Patreon in a while, but I might have unsubbed after a certain point. I don't remember. But yeah, if the music increases with the terraforming index, that would be cool. I think that's I think that's the case. Oh no, sandfalls are over there. Alright, let's just uh let's just make another little feeder base. Okay. Yeah, definitely, it definitely feels like there's way more music going on in the background here. But yeah, it's an interesting design decision. You arrive at a planet and it's desolate and lifeless. I deconstruct this. I feel like you should be able to. Like crash satellite, de deconstruct the solar panels, build your own. Or even get like better solar panel tech. Uh, let's see. Maybe I don't remember where I am. I know there's something up here. I want to say it's a ladder downstairs and you can find one of the previous people sent to do your job. One of the failures. A lot of resources in this area, but I guess that is also kind of just this game. Which games with hardcore one death modes would implement extra lives in the game as a goal? I, I've i played a couple of roguelikes that did, or roguelites that did that, that were like very brutal, but you could kind of earn them slowly over the course of the game. I don't remember that well. I don't remember this area. I think they did a re overhaul. So what I'd love to see you and Avac do another co-op series of Satisfactory. It is on the list. Uh, so I was talking about this earlier. We're going to be doing Seven Days to Die next. Um, but uh, so currently I, I do co-op streams every Sunday with Modiply, Avac, and Penta. And uh, Satisfac we almost did Satisfactory. But uh, Penta cared more about doing uh, Seven Days to Die instead. So we did that instead. There's totally a bunker somewhere around here, but I don't know where it is. And I don't know how much time I want to look around. How long has the stream been live? Uh, a little over an hour. 
shoot, really? Okay. I swear there's a ladder down. I thought the, uh... Oh, there it is. I was right next to it. Somebody probably saw that and was just like, oh, you, you blind fool. I'm glad I went back to check. I always forget about this zone. It's, it's very far out of the way. There's not much going on, but there's just enough that it's worth stopping for. But yeah, uh, we might just wait for 1.0 and it's satisfactory. Okay. I like how this one's kind of a fake out. There's more to this, if I remember right. Yep. Kind of wish I could deconstruct more. What? That's a cool cave. I will do whatever it takes to quit this planet. I had to dig deep to find the resources needed to build a la launch platform. The storms have been less frequent lately. I need to find a big meteor crater and build a platform at the bottom of it to be protected from the winds. The magnetic fields on this planet are completely crazy. It's the first time in my life that I've seen anything like this. Once again, I'll leave this shelter and hope I'll be able to make it. Iklis, year 3040. I don't remember what year it's supposed to be as of this game. Let's go up, drop a couple of things off of it. Make another one of these. Okay, let's go back down there. See if there's anything else. I don't think there's going to be. But you never know. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing much. So I think we're good. Unless there's like a hidden hidden compartment. I do like how whoever left these bunkers was really committed to the idea of having secret shit everywhere. Let's probably just grab all of these and that. How are we doing? I can eat that. Otherwise, it's just going to sit here and rot. Uh, let's grab the silicon too. And let's get out of here. Okay. It became aware of a Terraria mod that makes slimes drop random items, which might be fun for a multiplayer stream. That could be fun. I, uh, did they add, uh, mod, like, is mod support fully functional for 1.0 now? I think I'm still lost. I think I know where I'm going. But yeah, I know Terraria is one of the other games kind of on our to-do list. So I, I would not be surprised if we don't end up playing Terraria sometime within the next year or so. And this game, actually. Like, I'm playing it now solo because my friends didn't seem too keen on it. But I'm probably going to keep pushing for... Hey! Huh. There's a seam here. That feels... Oops. I should be kind of scared of that, though. You know, as a kid, there was kind of that whole, like, you know, step in a crack and it breaks your mother's back or some weird nonsense like that. In video games, cracks are actually terrifying. You can fall through those, and who knows what happens when that... When you do. Where am I? I don't think this is the Sand Falls. Unless... Am I on top of the Sand Falls? I am... That is equal parts really cool and also kind of inconvenient for me. All right. I'm going to hop back down. Or I'm, I'm going to hop down to this. Let's hope there's no falling damage in this game. Okay. Let's hope there's not too much falling damage in this game. <laughs> uh, let's make a, a small feeder base. All right. So we need some more iron and titanium. Please tell me. Oh, that was. 
Not gonna fit my inventory. I'm not seeing a whole lot of titanium here. It's fine. I'm gonna build a base here, and I'll just make a uh, series of staircases going up to the top. Okay, one more piece of titanium, and I think we're good. What's the plan? It's similar to Cyrus New Dawn. Has the same style. Uh, bought assets, maybe? That's that's my usual theory. Okay, living compartment door, and oxygen. Blessed oxygen. So now I need a little bit more iron. This area also seems to have a lot of silicon, which is going to be nice. But yeah, the reason why I want to be on the bottom as opposed to the top is it's going to be easier to space my stair staircases going upwards. So how do we do this? Do we just start? I think so. Because I like the idea of kind of connecting this area to the upper area. Now that there's actually something up there. I don't think there was stuff up there when I used to play this. It was a complete, like, empty, z empty nothing. I'm not even sure if you could go there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. How is Osiris New, d uh, New Dawn? Because I played that years ago when it first came out in Early Access and thought it was very okay. And then I think they stalled and then somebody else bought it. Like the mod a modding team or something said like, hey, we can finish this game. And then I've heard nothing about it since. I'm assuming it's probably still kind of in a weird rough state and it's never going to be perfect. But it is one of those games that I think back on every once in a while. I'm like, oh yeah, that game existed. Hmm. Hydration is low. This is probably something I should fix. I don't think we have any ice on us. But there's plenty of ice in the area, so it's that not big of a deal. I wonder if you ever looked into Gestalt rules for D&D. I did. I actually really like the idea of Gestalt, but I also recognize that it is incredibly busted and very much uh not built for uh a balanced campaign i also don't really play D, &D anymore i used to play a lot of it uh back in the day and i still like D, &D as like a concept but i've i've started to get into other um other systems instead so i've got like fabula ultima that i'm very excited about doing doing a campaign for uh, I've been doing Monster of the Week a little bit, but not too, too much. Let's see. What else have I been running? I'm looking at the bundle of holding 13, 13th Age uh, collection that they've got going on right now. I don't know if I actually care too deeply for 13th Age, but... Uh, you know, 20 bucks for a, a ton of source books is really hard to say no to. For people who don't know what Gestalt is, uh, Gestalt is a rule in Dungeons & Dragons that lets you have two classes. Um, I don't know if they've changed recently, but usually it was you kind of pick the best of both worlds. So the best spell slots or the best attack bonus or the best saves. Uh, it's very busted, but it lets you multi-class while being one singular class. Or... Multi-class will be one character with no downsides and no concessions to like, oh, you're you're only a level 5 wizard and a level 10 cleric. You only cast as though you are a level 5 wizard for the most part. Like, that feels kind of eh. Um, let's see. But so Gestalting lets you have just two classes in one, and that's really strong. Long series of stairs is giving me PSD. I wonder why. Uh, I just... Stairs in general are scary when they're that long. You roll and it's bad. <laughs> Scorpions on the stairs, they scare you. 
I do kind of wish you actually had to... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I wish you had to worry about physics for these games. 13th age is pretty good, but you have to have a group that's ready to learn... Uh, ready to learn about the icons and lean into it. Yeah, that is one of my fears. Uh, so, at the beginning of this, I was talking about, like, yeah, after I'm done streaming today, I'm going to go work on, like, some side projects. Um, it isn't going to be anytime soon, but... Uh, you know, a couple months ago, I did the Monster of the Week Halloween stream with my friends. And then we, we've we done a couple other adventures. I've got to finish the last one. It's just been sitting on my to-do list for a while. Um, but very real possibility I'm going to be maybe making another YouTube channel. Uh, specifically for tabletop RPGs and board games. Okay, can I... Not sync these together? I, uh, really? All right, I'll have to figure that out. Oh. How did I really run out of oxygen there? All right, whatever. Uh, how much iron do I have on me? I guess first and foremost, let's store most of our stuff. Take the iron back. Just so I don't have to worry about these. Let's see, why not just use Wanderbot Prime? Uh, so the last time... Okay, uh... There's a couple of problems that I have, specifically with how YouTube works. It pigeonholes you. Really hard. So the moment, uh, the moment it kind of identifies what you're good at and what your audience likes, you don't want to leave that... Uh... You don't want to leave that band. Uh... And so, I like the idea of specifically, yeah, just putting these things up on the main channel. Um, but I did. And they were duds. I can share the analytics later on, um, on Discord if people want to see it. But, like, the tabletop RPG videos that I put up bombed, like, in a really, really, really bad way. And I think an amount of that is just because uh, what YouTube does whenever you release a video is it releases the video to everybody that normally watches your your stuff. Um, so it'll be like, hey, you know, Mini Mergle, here's a video from Wanderbots. This time it's on Monster of the Week. Do you want to watch it? And you say yes or no, either by looking at the video and then watching something else or just scrolling past. It doesn't really matter. Um, but YouTube is actually watching that and says, oh, Mini Mergle didn't watch um, Wander's Monster of the Week video. So it counts, uh, it counts against me on, uh, there's a statistic called click-through ratio, which is effectively the amount of people who saw the video go by in their feed and clicked on it. And, uh, so it'll specifically say, like, my, your click-through ratio on this video is 1.7%, which means 17 out of a thousand people watched the video. Um, and YouTube really likes a click-through ratio of, uh, I'm going to say 6 to 10 or more percent. And anything less than that, it it's like, nope, this is a dud. Don't send it. Uh, YouTube likes to show me the video you released a week ago that I've already seen. This is part of the problem with the algorithm in general, is the algorithm is a series of black boxes that nobody, even the company that made it, really understands. And the problem with that system is that... It can be dumb as hell, but YouTube is already too committed to its usage to change. And so they can tweak it and they can they can keep changing things that increases uh, effectively what they're trying to do is have the highest click through ratio and the highest watch time possible. Because, you know, for example, it would be insane to show my videos to somebody that's looking for mommy blogs, you know, Everything against that kind of stuff, but also my video is just, that's not my target audience. There's no reason for, um, there, there's no reason for that kind of person to see what I, um, am releasing in video form. This is overkill, but whatever. All right. So here's the problem. I can't make straight platforms because it won't let me. So what we're going to do, what are you kidding me? 
Oh, <laughs> all right, it's fine. I have another idea. I have a couple of ideas to ha on how to make this work. We could just drop, but that would be consistently painful. We need to go get some titanium. Let's go get some titanium, actually. Uh, but yeah, the algorithm wants you to feed feed on the same stuff over and over, which I delete, which is why I delete my history every couple of months. Ooh, smart. Um, but so when I tried putting my my tabletop RPG stuff here, it didn't actually do very well. It does not want you to do this. It wants you to go through the ice caves. I'm aware. But I can be willful and weird if I want to be. Because this is actually something I desperately wanted to do. You know what? Actually, I, I think it's because of Let's Game It Out. I bet he did this in a video and I've just internalized that. Is there a way that I can have... A, ugh, I need a silicon thing. Is there no way for me to actually hook these together? You know what? This is taking too long. We gravity and my ankles and oh. Actually, in retrospect, I don't have the health for that, do I? Okay, uh, let's put the plants away. I cannot do that again. <laughs> I will. Well, actually, I could. There is no consequences for death in this game. So I very much can just chuck myself into the into the void. Um, hmm. How much? I do actually have a little bit of inventory space. So I'm just going to put that there. Grab these two. We have a foundation grid. What? Oh! I starved to death. I forgot you can also do that. Oops. <laughs> I don't care. Quick, your legs are shattered. Eat some rations. Somebody's been playing Metal Gear. Yeah, I give up. I, I'm not going to be able to make this well. So we're just going to make it good enough. I guess the one question I do have is, can you link a staircase going down from one of these? Okay, is that good enough? I think it kind of is. I think that that's genuinely good enough, at least for now. Uh, so here's the question. Can I link a staircase? I can link a staircase to this. Oh. Oh. I'd have to destroy the whole thing. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We have a staircase to the top of the the sand falls, and that's good enough for me. So, big immediate problem is we are hungry. I, I don't think I've seen any food go by. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just grab valuable things and make it out of here. I was going to go check for osmium, wasn't I? I think there is a cave in here that I was supposed to go through. Don't remove the stairs underneath your feet like you did to evac that one time. I love the fact that he will never let me live that down. Yeah, here's the here's the ice cave with the osmium in it. Wow, we melted through this pretty quick. Yeah, Vec wasn't on the stairs, though. I think it was on a platform. I don't think it really matters. I'm glad I remember... Uh, I'm I'm glad everyone remembers that, though. That was, a, that was a good series. It's part of the reason why I'm looking forward to playing that again. 
Okay, so what do we got in here? Whatever that's... What is... Oh, it's fertilizer, of course. Okay, this is not the ice tunnel. But it is a useful cave. I'll have to... Right, I was also going to look into maybe super alloy mining at some point. Eh, later. Alright, let's 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 just put some more storage down. And maybe a food grower, actually. I don't know if we have any aluminum, though. No, I think we do. Oh, speaking of food, we actually did find some in, some in there. Yeah, okay, so we have aluminum. And I think plenty of seeds. I just need a water bottle. Yeah, there's plenty of ice. Okay, uh, gotta go back and finish my thing before I, I move too far off of it. Maybe this is something that I actually do like an actual blog post for, just so people can see the numbers for once. Um, but so... The reason why even putting this stuff on like Wanderbot Prime, for example, uh, for those of you that don't know, I already have a secondary channel that I meant for like video essays and reviews. The reason why I don't want to just put my tabletop RPGs over there is because I'm trying to cult. I am hopefully going to try and cultivate an audience more for video essays and reviews on that channel. I could try and mix that with tabletop RPGs, but I think the people who watch one are different from the people that watch the other. Because when I tried to put tabletop RPGs over there, it didn't do so hot. Um, I think I might still try putting some things up there first, just to see how it performs. But my general assumption is that YouTube is so aggressive about pigeonholing you that, you know, it's very, it's very difficult to get uh, your foot in the door with any, with multiple types of content. Uh, easiest example would be like ProZD. If you look at him, he's been doing board game reviews for hundreds of episodes and I haven't looked into like the exact metrics of it but I'm pretty sure none of them have done particularly well as far as like viewership and uh, metrics go and he doesn't care because he's not in a position where he needs to care um, because he is also a very accomplished voice actor and it doesn't matter as much whereas for me uh I'm not quite there yet, and also, well, I'm I'm not a accomplished voice actor. You know, I really do rely on the algorithm not just deciding to uh, destroy my content uh, when I create it, and so I need to find ways to actually appease the beast uh, rather than uh, just saying, you know, I'm just going to forge ahead because I can't do that, and also like. If I make anything, I do kind of hope to make it in such a way that is the maximum amount of people uh, who want to watch it or would be interested in watching it will see it. Just because and even from like these videos, for example, yeah, ProZD does board game reviews. Yeah, hundreds of them. Like if you check his channel, they're all over the place. Uh, it's like one a week or something obscene like that. But nobody knows because the algorithm is like, nobody likes these. They want him to sing into the goofy voice, and he's stuck with it. Um, he he's stuck kind of with that built-in perception, and there's no easy way around that because the algorithm is just pigeonholed him to that degree. Um, and like from my perspective, I'm I've made my peace. I understand that this is kind of an awkward system, and it's. There's no really escaping it. Um, which is the reason why I'm thinking about like, yeah, what if I did make another channel that is dedicated entirely to not video games? Um, specifically board games and tabletop RPGs. And like, if I can cul cultivate an audience that specifically likes exactly that kind of thing, my chances of succeeding with it probably are going to be better than if I just like threw them up on this channel. Uh, where either they're going to get buried by all of my other videos, or people just aren't going to watch them in general. Um, and so... Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, and yeah, maybe I could just put them on Prime, but I feel like if I did that, after a certain point, I'd have more board game reviews and um, and tabletop RPG campaigns and related content. I wouldn't have essays anymore, and so it would be like, what's the point of making those either? I don't know. Wonder, do you do game suggestions? Occasionally. I've got a whole uh, Discord channel for it. So if you want to specifically uh, give me suggestions, that is the place. Uh, let's see. How do we do this? This is why I want the teleporters, because we actually have like an obscene amount of goodies in here that we kind of need. Actually, let's just build a blueprint decoder in here. So iron silicon. Because if I just decode the blueprints... Here, I don't need to bring it back with me. Do we have any others? No, it's just this one. Okay, big living compartment. Hey, that's nice. Let's just deconstruct that because I'm probably not going to need it again in this area. I might. Before uh, Waterboot Sweat's trying to pick where to send video game about board games. What? Okay, we needed the osmium for stuff. Uh, do we leave the sulfur for now? Kind of. I'm going to have to come back here anyway. I'm also going to have to figure out how to get home. <laughs> I don't remember the way. It's fine. Um, yeah, where was I on, on this conversation? I don't know. I, I think I've said enough. And yeah, this is absolutely the kind of thing that I really should sit down and, and write like a whole write-up of like, hey, you know, this is why YouTubers often make second channels. And this is what happened when I tried, you know, doing th the wrong content on a channel. Uh, one of, uh, what's his face? Joe Cat, there we go. One of Joe Cat's videos that stuck with me, I saw, I'd seen it at the beginning of the year, and he was talking about specifically how it's actually really hard to pivot as a YouTuber, or even have like multiple types of content. Uh, specifically, he had gotten very popular with his, um, was it Idiot's Guide to Final Fantasy or, or Dungeons Dragons or both? Uh, oh no, he started with Monster Hunter, and then he did D&D, &D, and then he did Final Fantasy. Uh, and he had talked about like how much of a struggle it is to actually get the algorithm to to support that kind of work. One of the rockets still go haywire if you jump on them. Uh, I think we're going to be finding that out today. It's going to take me a little bit. I have a hell of a lot of stuff I need to sort through. Okay, so all I need is cobalt and titanium for these. Okay, let's put the osmium back because I don't think we need it. Titanium. Okay, there we go. Because I need the T4 oxygen tank in the backpack. Those are almost the most valuable things I can get. There's also the back... Huh. There's also the jetpack. I didn't really think about making a jetpack, but maybe we do that. And Joe Cat still upset over how people treated him. They're still treating him bad. Like every once in a while, I see some like weird, weird chud get really mad that Joe Cat's video exists, and it's just like, but why though? Okay, <laughs> I haven't even built the biodome. We haven't even built the ore extractors. Which wh what? Wh what? Huh? Huh. Okay, there's an emote mode, and it puts you in a third-person camera for a bit, and is very confusing. So, we actually could build a launch platform. I think what we need is the ore extractor. So we need iridium rod, super al- Ooh, these are expensive. So I can make exactly three. Okay, so super alloy, titanium. The big one is the Iridium Rods.
I'm one shy. Unless I have some more. Oh, is it raining out? It is. I will admit, the rain effects in this game look really bad. Like, I don't mind too much, but I wish... I don't know. It, it's too big? It's too big and ropey. It looks weird. I gotta remember where I put my... Uh, the rocket boosters. I have them somewhere. But... I, w I think I'm gonna make the jetpack... first. Let's see. So let, let's just grab whatever iridium we can out of this. I probably should have cleared my inventory out beforehand. Because I'm not going to be able to make an Ir iridium rod here, even if I want to. Um, but yeah, I think we'll get a, a mining machine down in this area and see if we can get super alloy out of it. And then I think we go back to the sand falls and see if we can do the same thing. Yeah, by the ship base. Yeah, I was thinking that. I just have to actually go back and find it. Inventory is full. I did this to myself. It's fine. But yeah, on a bigger name, it's why the Game Grumps have the Grumps as like a side channel as well. Yeah. And part of the other reason why uh, this is kind of important, at least for like why you don't just pack it all onto one channel, is YouTube has kind of a diminishing return system uh, that specifically... For me, one video a day is ideal. Anything more than that, and it starts splitting the viewership. Uh, so I lose 20% of my viewership on each video, uh, give or take. Let's see. And so, like, ultimately, yes, I still end up with a good 60% more viewership than I normally would, but I've done twice as much work with only a 60% increase in output. Um... And this probably sounds kind of like weird, dumb number magic, and it's not that interesting, but it is one of those where, um, at least as a, as a content creator and as a person with a limited amount of time, but a lot of different, like, passions and things that they want to work on, um, the more I have to, the more work I have to do to achieve kind of my, I don't want to say my maximum results, um, just see if this is good enough. Does it actually? Yes. It will give me iridium. Perfect. Now let's go get a little bit more. Make another rod. We can make it on site in the uh, in the Sandfalls area. Assuming I can get there. We might have some mild issues. Maybe. We will see. Um, I think I got it. <laughs> I'm hoping I did. Yeah, there's a little bit more. And then we'll go up through that direction, which probably has a lot of goodies, and will take us to the Sulfur Flats. Which I guess I don't have a base in this time around, but that's fine. Um, but so I, I... From my perspective, I can have an output of... I don't even know. I don't know how many videos per day or week I could possibly output if I was, like, really going full tilt. Obviously, me streaming stuff like this kind of throws it off because it's time-consuming. Uh, yeah, it's just destroy that. I'd like to grab that aluminum, but it's probably better that I grab iridium instead. Let's see, Wander, do you think your character eats the water bottle after chugging it? Yeah. I, th I think our character is a weird goblin. And the ice is melted nicely. And yeah, we can come back here and grab some sulfur at some point. I think I will probably... <sighs> Do I put a mining machine down in here? No. I think we can leave it for later. Yeah, you really cut for back from four to five day, uh, four to five per day that you did years ago. I think it was even worse than that back in the day. Like, there were periods of time where I was uploading up to ten videos a day. Um, but that was back when subscription feeds actually mattered. And people could just see, like, all of the stuff I uploaded. Now it's, like... <sighs> it is worthless, from my perspective... for Or, it is worthless for YouTube to showcase a video... Wow. There's a lot of good treasure chests in this area. Uh, if you haven't seen episode one... You won't want to be shown episode two of a series. And so, YouTube currently has no way of detecting that this is the second episode of a game. 
uh, or like a series. And so as such, it will be showing even this stream to, oh, I can't, I need to make one of the, you know what, actually we can. I'm going to need magnesium and silicon. But I'm going to make one of these, make the iridium rod, and immediately deconstruct it. Good enough. Okay. So here's the question. If I put this down right here, what does it get me? Nothing. What if I put it in the osmium cave? In retrospect, I don't think I need osmium that bad. But I want to see if it gives me osmium if I put it in here. Hmm. It doesn't seem to like this location. Okay, so... This is a no-build zone. Unless... Maybe I just need to get a platform down. No, of course not. This thing wouldn't go on a platform. All right, so can't mine osmium in there. Let's go find that super alloy cave. Let's uh, let's grab whatever goodies we can because I think we're gonna want to truck th truck them back. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we don't need the space food. We don't need that. Let's see the seeds. Yeah, we don't need. And the water bottle is kind of meaningless to us. Let's grab the Nulna seeds. Let's let's grab all the really good seeds. Like the Shanga seeds would be nice, but we'll leave that for later. And I know we're going to need the sulfur, but at least it's easy to get to the sulfur flats. Let's see, bioplastic instead of titanium? Sure. Okay. So I think we want to go out this direction this time around. Um, but to go back to the whole, like, cutting down from 10 to 4 to 5 to eventually, uh, just like 1 to 2 videos plus maybe a stream. Um, so previously when everything was subscription feed based, my videos actually did quite well, uh, because people were finding my videos largely through search and then watching the whole series. But as YouTube changed the algorithm, I think primarily back in 2018, it switched from a system where people would pay attention to subscri subscription feeds and um, and stuff like that to a system where people were largely just seeing whatever YouTube showed them and recommended to them. And that works really well for one-off content, especially like really, really interesting one-off content that catches people's eyes. It doesn't work well for episodes two through finale because at that point, um, most people haven't watched episode one and have no way of like seeing or caring about episodes two through finale because it's it just, why would they? And so we needed the one titanium. That's okay. There should be like one within spinning distance here. Titanium is everywhere. There's one. And so, uh, more or less, I've been incentivized to completely move away from my old workflow just because I had no choice. And I don't mind it too much because also with the whole diminishing returns and... That's not fun. I guess we're just going to drop the iridium. Now that we can mind it, and we can come back in a little bit. Um... Because all I have to do is get back in here, put down the drill, and be good enough. Um, but yeah, so it's like, on, an, on a level of appeasing the algorithm, it's just easier for me to accept that it's changed than be upset about it or try and, like, hang on to something that's not going to work anymore. Still iron. Rough. Maybe I have to just go deeper. Maybe in here. I feel like right here with a door. I don't think I should put it on the sparkly point, though. Still iron. Does this not count as a super alloy cave? It 
even though it's like one of the only reliable places I know of. Well, that sucks. Anybody know where I can put the ore extractor down for this? We might want to just go back to my base and just put a, a basic extractor down there. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm lost. Here we go. What else do we have in the area? There's big glaciers over there. I don't think I've even looked at that. I should probably go check it out before it gets too cold. Need a tier two for that. Got it. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we do? Yeah, let's just... Oh, this actually has a lot of stuff in it. Oh, including like bioplastics and things. Here, let's let's put some of these down. I did get a lot of super alloy out of this whole area. Um, hmm. I'm slightly torn because there's a lot of ground to cover. I want to make some big progress. We can work. Like, I could work on getting my terraforming index to go back up faster. I've been kind of neglecting that for a while because there's so many resources to go gra grab. Many of which I need, you know, sulfur, super alloy, iridium, and whatnot. Oh, hey. Didn't notice this. Our ship crashed on this planet for an unknown reason. Many of us died upon impact. Some died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I've tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is deteriorating. Going outside one last time to try and find some water. Where the hell am I? It does not help that we are in the midst of a sandstorm. Kind of adjacent to that bridge. Okay. I'm gonna head over to the ship. Because I think I have some food and water in that area. And also we can get the jet boosters. So I can hopefully fly away. Because my goal, to some degree, is going to be uh, to actually start flying. Hopefully that's faster. Yeah, there it is. Leaves a rocket engine in the bunker. Well, I already have two, is my point. I don't need a third to make the jetpack. And my inventory is currently full, so rather than leaving a bunch of things behind. Yeah, I'll just move that over. Uh... Here, let's grab the iron titanium. Do we have more iron? Yeah. Let's make this room bigger. Oh. Actually, do we have cobalt? It's kind of silly. Oh, right. There's also the big living compartment. I don't think we want that, though. Okay. So we need a little bit more iron and titanium. Let's do something like that. Yeah. All right. So we want to get one of these. Three aluminum, titanium, magnesium, and silicon. We're kind of out. Okay. We should have some titanium nearby. Yeah, there it is. Iron. Eh. We always need more iron. And I should probably get one of these drills down. I think I'll go back to my, my original base. Before I do that, though. And then I think... Oh, you know what I'll do? Uh, we'll go get the uran uranium cave. Because I've been mostly going this direction because it's more familiar to me. But I think going for the... Whoa, that's 600% oxygen. That's really good. 
Okay. So T1 jetpack. Wait, there is area crafting? No. I don't think there is actually. Alright. Uh let's see. Let's just move some things over. Let's go find the Oh! <laughs> I did not know that you could actually get hit by those. Well, that hurt. I should probably get a food tube up in here. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Let's grab mining speed. I might as well snag it. We're here. Okay, what else do we do? Yeah, I don't think we have any more tech that we can actually put into this. Uh, there we go. It feels like this is considerably faster, but it did feel like that asteroid was waiting to gank me. And I'm not happy about that. But it was really funny. <laughs> okay, is there more? The problem is these these meteors only have just like random junk in them. Sometimes you get aluminum, but not always. Uh, let's see. Walks outside, immediately gets hit by a meteor. If that happened to me, I'd one, die, two, go back inside, and not leave the house for the day. Yeah, I can sympathize with that. I don't think I'd leave the house for longer than a day, though. I got uh, stung in the leg by a wasp uh, a couple months ago, last summer. And, or yellow jacket, not a wasp. Not that, functionally, not that there's too much of a difference on my end. Um, but yeah, I got stung in the leg by the yellow jacket and more or less just said, I'm taking the week off. Goodbye. I still recorded, but that was it. Every other event, I was just like, nope, I no longer care. This is, this is somebody else's problem. I don't know. This is a problem for some other day. And I just relaxed. Didn't worry about it. I think in general, people need to take more excuses to just chill for a day. They'd be happier for it. I certainly would be. For years, I was very much like the super workaholic kind of person that was just like, I'm going to get all of this work done. And I still am. But I've been trying to rein that in a little bit just for my own sanity. Okay, do we want all of this super alloy? Yeah, I think so. We can put the iridium away. Let's grab the osmium. Let's go bring this back over to that other base. Not that my central base is particularly big or interesting or good. It's just central. And eventually we have those teleporters and then nothing matters. I can just zip around and not care. I did grab all of the osmium, right? I did. What's the other one? What are we missing? Looks like it's just titanium and iridium rod. So I'm going to go check my drill, see what I can get. Everyone needs an excuse for a day off. New one every day. I mean, like, to some degree, yeah, it would be bad if everyone took every day off forever. But snow days. Like, when was the last time any of you took a... Uh, a legitimate snow day just because. Because I haven't. And it's kind of one of those where it's like, I miss, I legitimately miss taking snow days when I was in, you know, elementary school and middle school. Because, yeah, education is important, but just saying like, hey, yeah, let's not have to worry about schooling right now. Or any of that jazz. Just go have fun. Be kids. Okay, what else do we need? Iridium rods. Unfortunately, yeah, we have like no iridium. So I'll just move these things over. 
Yesterday, because snow stops you from working. Uh, let's see. I live in a place that gets enough snow occasionally, but I also work from home, so it's not a usable reason. And that's my problem, is that I also work from home. And so, like, for me, uh, I, I will admit I still take days off whenever I feel like it. Kind of. Ooh, that is not nearly enough. Um, but it's one of those where it's like, it feels like societally we spend too much time trying to justify reasons for why everybody needs to go to work every single day and miss out on the cool stuff. Um, what was it? There was, I mean, every once in a while I hear people talking about four day work weeks and how those are like actually really good for productivity. Unfortunately, I think my workload will never allow me to do so just because, you know, it's all on my end. I could actually do that, but my ambition stops me from doing that. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, I used to take half days when I worked a real job. I'd work nine hour days, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I'd take a half day on uh, Wednesdays to go to like amusement parks or just go out uh, and spend time with my wife for stuff like that. And it was great. It was actually really good for me because I could just say at a certain point, like, hey, uh, I want to go do this thing when you know no one else is there. Everybody else is working. And so I was able to actually experience life rather than just, like, jam myself into places on weekends. It's unfortunate that snow days uh, for kids are going to be even less common since schools push for online learning now that they've adjusted to it. Have they? I know, I know online learning is, like, more popular, but, uh, I didn't know that, uh, uh, that schools would actually push for that on snow days. Screen mapping. Oh, I see. That's the big map, which we might actually want to build. So we need a compass, iron, and silicon. So silicon, magnesium, and two aluminum. Okay, mapping. Uh, where do we put it? Just here? No satellite in orbit. Oh, well, alright, never mind. Okay, let's take a look at this. Three super alloy, three titanium, and three iron. Yeah, I'm a pretty big workaholic, which is maybe not great. Well, it's absolutely not great for me. I think there are elements to it that are fine. Holy shit, this thing is huge. There it is. That's a problem. Can I, can I at least see what's required for these things? So, rocket engine, super alloy, and a resource. Neither of these are the satellite, though. So we'll have to work on that. Will you play the play with the whole wholesome verse crew? Let's drive to drop all of them. What? Drop? Oh, in that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be that malicious. I do want to play more more of these games with wholesome verse, but our schedules do not always align. Yeah, we even have the grass spreader. Okay, so we need iron, magnesium, and silicon. That should be good enough. I might actually be able to drop one rocket. But yeah, part of part of the reason why I work so much is because uh, a lot of my jobbies are actually really fun. So I want to start another YouTube channel dedicated largely to uh, tabletop RPGs and board games because I love playing board games. And if I can cook some amount of my work into, um, or if I can combine some amount of, like, my, my YouTube work with my passion for board games and tabletop RPGs, then I have a justification for playing more tabletop RPGs and board games and stuff. You know, currently, my job is to play video games, which is great. I like that. Uh, but it is a little one note. Also, it's very dependent on good games coming out on a on a given daily, weekly, monthly basis. And so there will be like multiple weeks where I'm just sitting there with nothing good to play and I'm just like, well, I guess 
I guess I gotta go like scrape off some old games and see see if people want to watch those instead. Which, you know, generally the answer is yes. Um, I can get away with covering old stuff. It's not that much of a problem. But I feel unmoored in those situations where I'm like, you know, I don't want to have to. Well, as it stands, a lot of PR people do my work for me. As silly as this might sound, uh, it's one of those where I get an email from like a developer being like, hey, please cover my game. And I'm like, cool. Or a PR person's like, hey, we'll sponsor you to do like three videos on like these different games. And I'm like, cool. Because then I don't actually have to think about what I'm doing for my work. I just have to record the videos and have fun with it. This should not function, <laughs> but it does. All right, let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's going. It's not perfect, but it's going. Okay, so here's the big issue. I think I've gotten rid of most of my aluminum. We've got silicon and we've got a bunch of other stuff. Let's grab the rod. Let's grab that. Uh, let's see. Right, the osmium. Where'd that go? Snag those. Okay, so osmium iridium rod. It's the iridium rod that's the issue. No, because we... Oh, wait, no, no. We definitely need to get two of these down. Okay, let's let's go fire a rocket and go do a little bit more. I think I can get a smidge more iridium, too. Yep. Good enough. Okay, so we want to do... Asteroid Detraction Rocket. Heat Multiplier, hell yeah. Press the button. Whee! Take me to space. No! Come back! Okay, so I didn't manage to mess that up that much. Oh, right. I forgot. We now have uranium meteors or something. I should probably make sure I go harvest those. At least they're extremely easy to spot with the glowing green everything. And this will solve, solve some of my power issues. Aha, asteroids, you cannot hit me. I'm hiding under a rock. Eh. Eh. There's another one in there. I can't get it. Where are they landing? Over here? Now that first one might have been the only... No, there's definitely more. Yeah, I want to go get a mining machine down in the uranium caves, but this will have to do for now. And it'll do quite well. Probably. It's kind of a shame you can't mine the glowing heart of these things. You'd think you'd be able to get more uranium out of that. Unless that's actually so, like a tech you get later. Might be. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, uh, that's just some ice, but we might as well grab it. My character is getting thirsty. Oh, there's the uranium. Damn, that's that's a bunch. Right, do we got more? Yes. Not much, though. But honestly, like, that's a decent amount. I should be able to make a, a, at least a uranium rod with this. And I might just have to come back at a later date. And grab the rest of this once the rock debris is gone. There we go. How much did we get? A lot. I guess we might as well snag some things while we're here. Because I think we're running low on cobalt. Yeah, this lake hasn't filled in yet. Which means I should probably go out there and actually start grabbing things out of it, but eh. I've been kind of happy to just be very lazy about uh, grabbing some of these resources. 
was it? Oh, it's here. I don't think that... Yeah, it's still not reachable. At least not from this angle. Nope. Yes? Yes. There we go. Let's see if I can make a uh, nuclear, uh, a uranium generator, a nuclear generator. Because if I can make even just one, that should solve a lot of my power issues. Sadly, eating fruits and veggies does not actually give you hydration. You cannot be a dolphin. Alright, snag this. Yes, that's two. So we need super alloy and water bottles. more ice or water? No, so I need one more. We should probably also get a water condenser at some point. We, like, we have the technology. I'm just lazy. I, no, lazy isn't the right, right term exactly. Yeah, T2 extractor to get super alloy. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so we were going to do nuclear generator. Crap guy, there we go. It is funny that some of the people leaving comments are like a couple minutes back. You can tell because I've moved on from a, a con I've moved on from that topic for uh quite a way or I've been off of that topic for a while. Alright. Uh do we want to just line this up? Kind of there. All right, so that should solve a lot of our power problems. I guess next order of business is... What do I need for one of these again? Osmium. Oh, it's the Iridium Rod. That's a fly in the eye. Uh, let's just grab these basic resources and take them out. We can use them, or we can put them in here instead. Okay. First order, first order of business, let's go check the mining machine. Then I think we do a quick circuit and grab a bunch of the resources that I left behind. YouTube streams seem much more more likely to be delayed, I've noticed. Um, well, there's one thing, like, uh, I specifically have it so that my, my YouTube video has plenty of time, I think, to live caption me. Uh, if I set the, um... If I set the delay to too short, it turns that off, and I like people being able to use subtitles. Uh, because that just seems nice for some folks. Um. But then also, YouTube has live playback. I don't remember if Twitch lets you do that. I don't think it does. So when you tune into a Twitch channel, you are watching, uh, you, you can't go back to the very beginning of the stream. You have to wait until the VOD comes out. So you are just watching live alongside everybody else. Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of iridium. Uh, you know what? Let's put these away. I don't think we need most of these back home, whereas we need all of this stuff. Uh, we don't need the Lerma seed. I'll eat the space food. Oh, we've also got some iron hiding in here. We don't need that. Dang, I actually left behind, like, a lot of goodies. Uh, do we think that's good enough for now? Oh, you know what? We have an advanced crafter in the back of this, don't we? I can carry more back with me. Might actually want to put a decoder in here. They're cheap enough. Grab the rocket, grab the seeds. You know what? Yeah, let's let's grab these two. Get a blueprint. Cause this cost me almost nothing. So we got area lamp, we've got GPS satellite, and a shredder machine. Huh. Okay, anything else? No. Like, we have a bunch of the pest Pestera seeds. 
I could just put the iridium away. Yeah, let's actually just do that. Because we can get more of that at this point. Good enough. And am I going the right direction? I think I am. Uh, let's see. Twitch lets you see the rest of the live stream through VODs, no? When I look at a live person's VODs, I can see the, the live up to a certain point. Um, is that after they've stopped for the day? Or can you actually watch, like, catch up through a VOD during... Well, the live stream is still going. I haven't I haven't streamed on Twitch in like over a year at this point, and I've also forgotten. I also don't watch Twitch. I would generally only stream, so it's been a while. Okay, if you pause, you restart when you uh where you paused at. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh or maybe they changed it. Let's see. I guess what I should do is actually get a biodome down. Let's just put my, my rare stuff away. Think... Silicon? Let's go fire another rocket. If I can. So GPS satellite, we need a compass. I could do a... Pressure multiplier? Yeah. What? There we go. I really screwed that rocket up. Come back. I wish to ride you to the moon. <laughs> I'm just going to watch that go. <laughs> I'm so glad they never fixed this or changed anything. But I should probably also look at the asteroids that are going to land. I think this gives me... Iridium? They look... Yeah, that's Iridium. Yeah, I should have had an empty inventory going into this because... Well, I should have known better. Oh, gosh. And this is just all over the place, too, which kind of sucks for me. Because, yeah, good luck finding all of this stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Let's see what we can find. At least there's, like, a very obvious red glow where all of these rocks are. Wow, that's a lot, too. Well, I did need it. Is there more? Not on that one. I heard a number of impacts. The only immediate problem is... I don't think they landed here. Well, at least it should be easy to spot from a distance, like this leftover uranium that I missed. I just gotta wait for the rocks to disappear. Let's see, anything else? Not around here. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I guess really what I should do is go out of my way and act actually finally set up some of the biodomes and terraforming things. Oh hey, there's a bunch of uranium here that I missed too. Good to check. I almost kind of wish there was a resource scanner in the game. Something that specifically would say like, hey, there's a bunch of, uh, there's like a cluster of iridium over here that you probably missed. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw one of these land. Yeah, there it is. Probably means that there's, an abun there's a bunch of iridium just kind of dumped in the ground down here. Yeah, there it is. like the most awkward spot it could have landed, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Wonder, would you ever touch Noida again? I played a fair bit of Noida. I might play it again at some point. Oh, right. 
Did I ever clear this place out? No, I did not. It mostly doesn't have things I care about. But I should keep it in mind that I have a bunch of stuff in there. Oh, there's another iridium uh, rock over there. Let's, yeah, let's get to it. Don't have enough. We now have the algae generator, though I'm pretty sure we don't actually have water or sufficient water anywhere to grow algae, which is kind of amusing. Do we want to actually hit this up? Now that I have the the jetpack, I move. I move. I move so much faster, so it's actually kind of easy for me to go go back and grab these, and pull them back to a much more central location. Ooh, yeah, we actually had quite a number of iridium asteroids fall down in this general area. I bet there's even more that I. We'll find at a later date. There's just like a huge pocket of uranium waiting for me. But yeah, let's uh, let's take these resources back and see what I can make. Oh no! First and foremost, we actually run over to the aluminum mines and actually get that set up. Even if it's only going to get me a certain amount of aluminum, it's still going to be worth it. Yeah, see what see what we can get out of these. We should probably actually bring some Lermas back with me. Alternatively, what do I need for this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough. Uh T5 backpack. Well, that'll help. Yeah, I'll just leave this here. Let's go home. The one spot on the map always has water, but it's far away. Okay. So how is terraforming going to work? Is it an endgame thing, or can one start with patches and conquer a piece at a time when survival is set? Um, it's definitely more generalized, I think, than you're thinking of. So, uh... The terraforming happens to the entire world kind of simultaneously. So right now, blue sky is just everywhere uh eventually once it starts raining more and water starts collecting that's going to be also everywhere okay so what do i need for this one two super alloys and a fancy backpack well you know what? let's make another iridium rod because we're going to need those anyway for heat machines and all sorts of stuff Put the aluminum back. Okay, so we've got tons of seeds. We need aluminum and super alloy for probably a lot of things. And one titanium. So a bigger backpack is just a benefit. Then what do we do? This is getting kind of busy, is the one issue. Do I want to just kind of expand it? Sort of. We need more iron, though. Well, that certainly has a lot of stuff. Oh. More than that, what do we need? We need our osmium. Where did that where did that go? Probably just tossed it in here because I was in a rush. Okay. Need an iridium rod and we need the titanium. Are we good? Yeah. So let's... I'm going to go get the aluminum miner down first. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get the aluminum miner down first. Then we're going to expand the base just so I have some more functional locations. And we'll get a biodome as part of that. How much space do I have? Not enough. But I don't think it's too bad. Okay. Can I take all of it? I almost can. Let's just eat that. 
I'll have to destroy that on the way back. You know what I'm weirdly sad about? Complete non sequitur. I really wish Anthem hadn't just completely goofed, like EA hadn't goofed it with Anthem. There we go. So this should be mining aluminum for me. Slowly, and it's going to get all sorts of other stuff, but that's fine. I think you can eventually also get, like, um, an auto-crafting setup so it, it makes it for you at a distance. So I might even want to set, set a crafting setup around here to do just that. Uh, let's see, do we have resource pinning? We do. Holy smokes, that is expensive, though. I don't have that much osmium, so I don't think I want to do that. Can I make another mining drill? No, because I didn't bring enough iridium with me. Sometimes my own hubris offends me. Okay, let's let's start by expanding this one. Okay, so what do we what do we need for this? We have the aluminum, all we need is magnesium. I'll just put it here. Give myself a little bit more room. Or do we? No. I think I'm going to have to move an amount of these. Is the issue. The reason why we want to do this... Is because... Um, and I probably should just come back to this after I've cleared it out. You can actually link this to this and have this autocraft super alloy for you. I forget how it's done, but it is totally a thing that can be done. And so you can use that to empty it out. Or not super alloy, maybe it's aluminum, I forget. But you can get it to make other resources using nearby storages. Okay. We do have a lot of aluminum sitting around, which is nice. Grab those, build this. Boy, my voice is my voice is a little raw right now, and so it's making me sound like way more dispassionate than I feel. I mean, maybe it's not that bad, maybe it's not coming across as particularly dismissive, but I always feel bad when when I've got kind of like scratch voice. Because I immediately feel like I'm just, like, drawling too much. And not nearly hype enough. Maybe it's coming through. I don't know. I hope so. Okay, so big issue is... Yeah, we don't have enough. Let's just take some of these things back with us. I'm going to leave the osmium here. But yeah, I should have left all the um, seeds and fabric at the previous base. What do I need again for these? Super alloy aluminum. Okay. So I'll leave one. And we can take some aluminum with us because there's always going to be more. The iridium. I think we're good. Okay, let's go back. Do resources on the ground regenerate? They probably don't. How did I ever miss that aluminum just sitting there? I have no idea. Late game automation is way deeper than I expected. There is so much more. Ah. Uh, like, I've barely even scratched the surface. I've barely even touched this game, in my opinion. Because there's drones, there's teleporters, there's even bigger stuff. Like, I've I've only been playing for three and a half hours, and I'm, like, the tech tree still has so much more to mess with. So you wonder you should finish Ghost Runner. I don't really finish many games anymore. Also, Ghost Runner was wildly underperforming, and so I kind of had to stop it. Okay, we can't we can't even start that one. Let's move an amount of these over. I guess yeah, the bioplastics as well. Oh, one more one more iridium. There we go. But I, I generally do not do series 
as a rule anymore, unless it's a game that I'm like extremely passionate about. Like this one, I really like this game. Okay, so we've got the Iridium Rod. You know what? I'm going to bring the Super Alloy back with me just in case. No, we, we should have enough. Okay, Shredder Machine. Destroys items placed inside. Break down items into their core components. Oh, this destroys them. This breaks them down. Yeah, we have yet to find Obsidian or Pulsar Quartz. I think I know where Zeolite is, but it's going to be a while. It sucks. Uh, do we actually want to do this while we're here? Some Lerma Seeds, some Water Bottles. Oh, okay. If you give a mouse a cookie, you get very distracted. So it looks like... Oh, wait, no, no. We have Super Alloy here still. So let's grab a couple. I think starter for starters, we get this. So Iron, Silicon, Cobalt, and Aluminum. There we go. So this is going to get us water slowly over time. I'll probably want to build two of those, give or take, but later. So now we need two water bottles, Lerma Seed, Magnesium, and Aluminum. I think we're kind of low on Magnesium, unfortunately. Also, did I leave all my Lerma Seeds elsewhere like an absolute doofus? I did. All right. Uh, let's just put these away. I think I should have a bunch on that one. I want to bring some water with you. Yeah, I'll snag some ice if I fly over it. I did just build the uh, water generator. Unfortunately, it takes a while for that to actually get rolling. I see a chest. I should probably get that first. Also, not seeing much ice. So there's a bunch over there, and I should probably check that out before the whole thing melts. Because our terraforming capabilities are are uh, progressing fast enough that there's a very real possibility I will clear that out before I even see it. And that would be bad. There's a Lerma. Let's grab the magnesium over here. Let's just take this whole set. Actually, no. You know what? We'll leave that there. It's a slight impediment, but I'm not doing anything with that area anyway. All right, back we go. Need water, but I'm flying with my left hand. There we go. Let's see. This is copying the just came out Subnautica. Wait. Really? This start this started back when Subnautica came out? Wouldn't that make it like actually pretty long in development? Holy smokes, that takes a while. Uh that sucks, because I need more water. Well, maybe we maybe part of the issue is that there's not enough water in the atmosphere to begin with. Oh, we should get the mapping satellite down. Oh, Osiris, got it. Okay, so we want to do grass spreader. So we just need aluminum and then some water. We don't need this many. Okay, so grass spreader is again one magnesium, one aluminum, one lerma. And then two water bottles, which is we have none. Are you done? There's one. Let's go back over to the um let's Head back over to the original kind of lake bed over here, where our, our um, 
pot had crashed. Oh, it is actually starting to get some water, finally. Yeah, I'll have to- I'll have to come back and address some of these things. The resources are still here. I wonder if the ice goes away. Because that would suck actually kind of a little bit if there is no more surface ice for me to use. I'm certainly not seeing it. It is kind of cool, though, seeing the, uh, oh, that's an oxygen thing. Who needs oxygen capsules? Not this guy. Oh, hey. It's one of the rogue iridium asteroids landed over here. Yeah, I'm actually really not seeing a whole lot of ice. We might want to... We might want to actually leave the grass spreader for later. And get another one of these. Oh, it doesn't require water at all. What am I doing? Yeah, we, we should get like two or three of them. If I have the resources for it. Because I am not seeing a single speck of ice in this immediate area. Isn't really that bad. There might be some in that cave. That'd actually be kind of intelligent of them if it, if it specifically did go away. So what do we need? Super alloy, silicon, iron, cobalt. Okay. So we really just need the cobalt, I think. Right? Yes. Let's just make a couple of these. Because if I have like three of them, that's all the water we could ever need. There we go. And now I can build the grass spreader. Of course, I'm out of magnesium and aluminum, but that's also fine. I might be able to find some near the glaciers too. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. aluminum. Slap that there. Okay. What else do we wa want to do? I mean, the main one would be probably to extend this a couple of times. Because we're going to need some... We're going to need some space. Oh, am I out of titanium now, too? Yeah, that was my last bit. I'll have to think about how I want to organize this. Maybe we will go for the big super alloy at some point. Okay, we have enough iridium that I can, in fact, get at least one iridium bar. A couple of those, a little bit, little bit more titanium. Do we have any? Yeah. I might as well preemptively place those or make those because yeah, we're going to need a ton of super alloys because eventually you turn them into, I think, rods. Let's see. Wonder, do you have an eye on any upcoming events? PAX East, etc. Well, pa PAX East just ended. Uh, so I can't do that one. I need aluminum and titanium. Shh, I might have just spent all of my aluminum. Nope, we didn't. All right, that's good. Um, So... I think I gotta do this from outside. Can I get it to connect? Yes. There we go. So now we have a biodome. So I think this will get us some amount of stuff. Biomass, plants, insects, and animals. Yeah, we haven't been doing a very good job on these. So we need some grass spreaders, I think. I don't think there's anything else that I, I can actually do with that in my current form, but that's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. I think what we're going to need is the algae generators, which I guess I can work on. Uh, what I really want to do, though, is we want to get a one last mining machine down. 
So two osmium, which we left behind, the super alloy, and the titanium. Where did I put my super alloy here? There it is. I think the rest of this we can come collect later. We have no titanium in that, but that's fine. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, we can we can go put algae down in the pond. It wouldn't take too much um, time or effort. I just want to go get a uh, mine. Well, do we even bother with a mining machine? Because I want to mine some uranium. Unless we need a T2 for that. Which, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Also, wildly, I've almost caught up to where I was... No, no, no. I was at GTI the last time I played. Not MTI. So, no, we're only, what? A hundredth? A hundredth. A thousandth? Of where I was at the last time I, I had done a series on this. But it's okay. It accelerates very rapidly. I have not been putting a whole lot of time into what I'm doing. Yeah, map GPS rocket. Yeah, we need that. Hey, we've got the flower spreader, though. Let's just grab those. Okay. Actually, no. Let's let's go lean. So we only we only want as much as this. So everything else I should leave behind. I'll eat the food. Okay. What is extraneous? The silicon? No, it's the magnesium. Okay, cool. Let's go on an adventure. There is somewhere over here a uranium mine. But I don't know where it is. Oh, that ain't ice. It's like in a ravine somewhere. These are kind of cool looking rocks. Oh, you need T2 for uranium? All right, never mind then. I could just get put the other drill down for the moment. I don't know. I guess, yeah, let's let's focus on getting my ter terraforming up. So what do we need? We've got some of the T3 heaters, but not many. We have flower spreaders now. But that needs fertilizers. Because we have... We made a biodome. Uh... Fine, let's just grab let's just grab every like kind of rare-ish goodie. Bring it back with me. Uh, let's see. What do you have? I guess I'll take the ice, because we need that for a number of things. Wow, that's a lot of ice actually. Nice. Alright, I think that'll be good enough. Let's go home. Though do we want to just get another, another aluminum mine down? Yeah, I think I will. At least for now. They're slow, and we are desperately going to need aluminum very short, very shortly. They never fix the weird rain. It's kind of great. It's growing on me. It's definitely not uh, that nice looking, but it's kind of one of those where it's like... It's so characteristic to this game that all of a sudden... Well, all of a sudden... I don't know. It's so characteristic to this game that it, it feels... It would feel weird. If they got rid of it at this point. Like, it's just janky enough that it's charming, but not janky enough that it's annoying. And that's a really good state. Really good place for games to be in, in my opinion. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So if I want to build another one of these, we need water bottles. I guess let's get a rolling on that. Boy, I sure hope I don't need iron for anything else. We should probably also go get that... Or not iron, ice. We should probably also go get that mapping table. So let's get the GPS. We needed a rocket. Oh, unless I fired all of the rockets. I think I'm out of boosters. Should be able to make them, right? Yes. Iridium rod to uranium.
Rocket booster done. I guess maybe I should have done that. Oh well. It ropes rain. Yeah, it does. Okay, so what do we need for this again? One more super alloy. Okay. But yeah, let's get the GPS satellite down. Because if we can do that, then we can get the mapping table down. Fire the rocket. Crap. Take me to space. Take me to space. Nope. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay, so what do we need next for a grass spreader? Just magnesium. Let's see if we can get any more. I really should organize these at some point, because I have I have not. There's not asteroids coming down, right? Yeah, no. Oh, and the Lerma seeds, which I left inside. Okay, flower spreader. No, can't do that. I think it, I'm probably just going to spread these all over the place for a moment. We can drink one of these. I'm sure we have plenty now. Yep. Should no longer have issues. Okay, so once again... Magnesium and the remaining Lerma seeds. Unless I've used them all? No, there they are. Because I have plenty of aluminum sitting around. And water bottles. At least for a moment longer. Well, there's the magnesium right then and there. I might as well get the grass spreaders down because, well, we're going to need them. Okay, what else do we do? I could get some generators. What point do we get? Oh, it's the bio lab. That's what we need. Let's see, when are you gonna play Keeper RL again at some point? I probably should, yeah. Hey, what do we need for veggie tubes? Silicon and magnesium. Ouch. Silicon, magnesium, aluminum, and water. So let's put the well, put some of these away. We don't need the cobalt. Or do do we like we need so many other things? How how are we doing on power? Fifty six. So that's not bad. I'm not going to be able to plant all of these, am I? So let's put four of these away, at least for the moment. Everything requires magnesium. Ouch. There's some. If I just grab, like three or four of these, plus whatever silicon g comes my way. We'll be a good... Eh, ah. Yeah. I've been recording too long. My voice is starting to go. Uh, I think we're good. Do we have enough? Hell no. But it's fine. Let's let's go back. Let's um build whatever seed spreaders we can, clear out our inventory, come back, and kind of rinse repeat a couple of times. Or not seed spreaders. Uh, Just veggie tubes. Okay. Going out? Oh, there's a package outside. Oh, it's um our Kinfire Chronicles game. Well, I doubly have a reason to stop then. Yeah, the other re uh to go back to what I was saying, one of the reasons why I want to start that uh potential board gaming channel is so that I actually have a reason to um, 
keep buying more board games. So we don't actually have Kinfire Chronicles. Um, let's see. We don't actually have like the base game for Kin Kinfire Chronicles because it was out of stock. And also I don't want to pick up like any big, uh, any like particularly big games at the moment. Uh, but I saw that they had kind of li like a living, uh, living card game that they're also working on. And I was like, yeah, that seems really cool. So I've picked that that up and I guess it just arrived. Uh, let's see. So we need some silicon. We also need more magnesium. So you wonder, do you have a Steam Deck? I just bought myself one. I do. Unfortunately, I'm not in a very good position to use it uh, because almost all of the ga gaming that I do is done to record. Uh, the Steam Deck is almost kind of antithetical to that. I, for a while, was using it to specifically... Um, uh, I was using it to specifically, like, simulcast from my computer to my Steam Deck. I'm recording off of my computer, but it was having connection issues, so I gave up on that. I think I need a um, better connection. And set up. Uh, let's see. Ooh, boy. Can I build another veg tube? I should come back here and check the mining machine in a moment. Uh, let's see. They didn't give up immediately after production. I think, I mean, Valve definitely did well with the Valve Index as well. The main question is if we get another Steam Deck after this one. Because they did the, um, they did a Steam Deck specifically uh, with the, whatever the, the nicer screen OLED. There we go. But that was kind of in short order, and I don't know if it was that much more po powerful. But if we get, like, the Steam Deck 2 or something, that's going to be kind of the indication of, like, oh, yeah, this actually is getting somewhere. Okay, so let me let me give this an ogle, see where we're at. We're at Lake Water Collector, T4 Heater. Oh, but we are pretty far from getting that one. Um, Biodome. I think my my thing is at this point, I need to fire some rockets. Cause gas extractor is a hundred MPA. T2 biodome is closer. So we need we could do some more heat. And then there's also oh plants. Oh good. You can actually look at this. So we're actually just about to get the bio lab, and we're pretty far off of the beehive tree seed and fish eggs. So it's really the bio lab is is kind of the next thing. And we're actually pretty close to getting that. So why don't we snag that, take a look at what it requires, and then probably call it quits. Uh just because well, I've got a new board game I got it I want to go play. Probably. Uh let's see. So let's put some of these things away for a second. Give it an ogle. Let's take the cobalt out of out of here and the seeds. Like I said, I've got to come through and organize better. Biolab, what do you require? Super osmium, never mind. <laughs> we are not building that, at least not not right now. We'll come back and uh, I think I'm going to play some more of this. I rather love this game and it seems like you guys do too. So I might do a couple of like early day streams for the next couple of days. Uh, put a couple, a couple hours into Planet Crafter and see if we can't turn this dusty old planet green. Uh, but for now, thank you all so much for coming out today. It was a lot of fun. And I'm, uh, I, I'm going to try and stream more often just in general too. When it fits my schedule, because boy, I'm a busy, busy guy. Uh, so for now, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.